Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I hope your 2020 is off to a really good start. What are you looking forward to in 2020? Well, when I think about it, so 2019 was a year of intense reflection and a lot of research with, with my millennial passion project, talking to millennials every single week and doing a lot of social media research too. 2020 for me is a time of action and creation, and it will be based on feel. <laughs> so as a communications professional and somebody who has done research, um, we talk a lot about field work, right, when you're out in the field. So now I'm going to talk about feel work. Feel is not easy. Uh, that's the first thing that I'd like to share because that acronym alone, the, the F in feel is face your fears, and, and that is all about change. Uh, facing fears is also about being open and inclusive in your communication, and that's not easy either, personally, um, and with every single piece of the feel model, you have to dig deeper inside of yourself and often you're stirring up things that maybe uh, you didn't want to recognize, uh, maybe that you've just gotten so used to, habits <laughs> that come very naturally. So feel on a personal level can be challenging. Now on a professional level, let's think about this. Think about the acronym FEEL. Face your fears, engage with empathy, use ethics and good judgment, and unleash the love. I hear a lot of companies talking about the big buzzwords, emotional intelligence, empathy, ethics, social causes, and taking a stance. This is all feel <laughs> wrapped up together. That's what feel embodies and stands for. Except if it was easy, then all of these organizations would not be having an issue. And you wouldn't have statistics like the one that says almost 80% of millennials would leave their companies to work for an organization that, that is empathetic. You wouldn't have a statistic that says 39% of millennials believe their companies are acting unethically. Those statistics wouldn't exist. You wouldn't hear about the challenges within organizations, the communications challenges, and the intergenerational differences. What does this all come down to, whether it's personally your communication and interactions through feel or within a company, professionally, your communication, and especially with one another, it comes down to understanding where you are on a feel scale, right? How much do you feel? Well, that's where my roadmap begins. So my team and I, we created this test. I've launched it, I've talked about it, we have over a thousand responses. And it is a way, personally, professionally, for you to gauge how much you feel through your communications and your interactions uh, and to actually be scored. And when you get your score, if you score lower in certain areas, the test recommends exercises that you can do. So of course, I took the test. And surprisingly, not surprisingly, I am not a feel master, <laughs> right? We walk around, you know, as, as communicators, I'm a communication strategist, and I'm always gonna have strategy in place. But in essence, feel, right? What's, what's strategy if there is no feel in the relationship that you're trying to build, correct? Feel is the stepping stone to get to the relationships that we crave so much as, as human beings, personally, and professionally. Feel is the most human thing that we can do, and it's what we have over robots in an age of marketing automation and artificial intelligence. Well, the test has recommended some exercises for me. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to use this year as a way to make sure that feel goes across my channels, but that 
I also step back and I'm able to help others to not only be strategic in their communications, like I've been doing with my consulting work, but also add a lens of feel to social media, to your media appearances, add feel to your presentations, your one-on-one -on -one interactions. What does that all spell? Well, that all adds up to the relationships that you're truly looking to build. I challenge you, take the Feel First Test, right, at feelfirsttest.com, get scored, look at the exercises, work on it, do it for yourself, and then imagine, just imagine, if your organization and all of the professionals within could feel a little bit more, we'd solve a lot of problems with, on the ethical front, we'd solve a lot of problems on the empathy side and we'd certainly all be stepping out of our comfort zone and facing conversations and and being more open and inclusive which clearly leads to innovation and on the love side of feel that passion will ignite and together there's a lot that you can do with your champions well good luck happy 2020 let me know how you do after you take the test and I'm wishing you a new year that is filled with happiness, prosperity, and feel. Thank you.